If you can't handle pancakes, you won't be joining a pancake breakfast. Similarly, women, you give men headaches. When it comes to singles events, a girl gets free entry, drinks unlimitedly, and even has her wallet paid for. Meanwhile, guys are told, want to get in, cut off a limb, and fork over $500. Is it any wonder men avoid these scenarios? Where are the men? They are out there living their lives, paying no heed to your drama, steering clear of your problematic attitude, saving money, anticipating the future, chasing their aspirations, wearing smiles, using common sense, and making mature choices. An Irish blind date event catering to singles hit a snag as it got cancelled due to the absence of men. The first tastes gathering took place at the renowned Levis Bar in Ballydehab, Co. Cork, last week, resulting in disappointment for a number of women who had turned up in search of a potential match. About 20 female attendees participated in the event's spirited atmosphere, yet no West Cork men were in sight. The rationale behind the dwindling male attendance at events resembling singles meetups is quite understandable. Men seem to avoid these gatherings due to the assumption that they are frequented by women who haven't found a match elsewhere. This sentiment also extends to online dating platforms to a somewhat lesser extent. If you attend these singles events, you'll likely observe that most, if not all, women are primarily focused on one particular guy, the so-called Chad. This scenario often leads them to disregard the other men present. There have been instances where women showed interest solely in one attractive individual, and when that person departed, the women's attention shifted away from all other men present, leaving them to converse among themselves. We've even encountered situations where we approached women for conversations, only to witness them walking away from us. Remarkably, on the following day, one of the organizers had the audacity to mention on the event's Facebook page, I wish there were more guys there. Truth be told, there were ample guys present. They just didn't fit the criteria of the sought after chads, narrow it down by ruling out women with tattoos, piercings, flashy hair, or overly revealing outfits, and those who display an aggressive or combative attitude. Once you've done that, the options for potential relationships become surprisingly limited. The alternative is casual encounters, which a lot of women seem to complain about not being fulfilling enough. Men engage, satisfy their needs, and move on. It's a logical response to the situation, especially in today's climate where the effort doesn't justify the outcome. Take singles events, for instance. Women get a free pass, unlimited drinks, and sometimes even the audacity to take wallets. Meanwhile, men are hit with high entry fees or demanding conditions. Is it really a mystery why men hesitate to participate? Where are the men? They are enjoying their lives, sidestepping drama, managing their finances, pursuing goals, maintaining a positive outlook, exercising common sense, and making mature choices. And let's address the reality that a significant portion of women at these singles events are either divorced, single mothers, or overweight. It's no surprise that sane men would prefer not to engage with any of them. With a staggering 70% second marriage failure rate, it's likely that many men who might attend such events are divorced themselves. Single mothers often raise red flags, and obesity isn't usually appealing either. So, who's left at these gatherings? Not many. To add to the mix, some single mothers even bring their kids along, practically expecting men to provide for them. It's no wonder men feel compelled to escape through windows when faced with such scenarios. I spotted a comment that really caught my attention. This guy went all in on the idea that men aren't treated as second-class citizens. According to him, men not giving a damn about singles events is actually a massive improvement for us. But wait for it, he's got this idea that men are practically ninth-class citizens. When some po guy ends up in a relationship with her, he quickly realizes how things roll. First on the list is her. She's the stunning and brave queen who apparently doesn't need any man by her side, 
and she's ready to conquer the world. Second, her children take the spotlight. The guy gets the memo that he's got nothing to do with their fatherhood. Third, it's her house. Even if he's the one who built it from scratch or dumped his entire wallet into it, it's still all hers, clear and loud. Fourth comes her car, and guess what? It's a lot more significant than his motorcycle, go figure. Fifth, brace yourself for her household pets, especially those damn cats. Those furry creatures are practically her furry children. Sixth in line is her precious furniture and coppets, and heaven forbid he makes a mess of them. Seventh, her cutlery, plates, cups, saucers, you name it, all her domain. He's just lucky if he gets permission to use them. Eighth, that's the household garbage, and guess who's the chosen one to take it out, reminding him where he stands in the grand scheme of life. And last, but definitely not least, is the guy himself and the tiny bits of his belongings she might allow him to keep. You see, the resistance is brewing. Did you catch how fast Mattel shut down those woke actresses from the new Barbie movie when they tried to label it a feminist masterpiece? Mattel dropped a statement like a torn of bricks, clarifying that feminism wasn't even in the picture. They are well aware that feminism is like a toxic cocktail for box office success. And let's not skip the part where girls are learning to keep their feminism talk in check during dates. Mention feminism and watch the guy vanish into thin air or disappear like a ghost. It might take some time, but it's like a pendulum swinging back and women are slowly realizing they might just need to reevaluate their stance. The whole feminist movement might end up being condemned eventually. Here's the kicker. Women actually desire relationships a lot more than men do. If things remain as they are, it's the women who will be caught in the crossfire. To add a cherry on top, AI and robotics are evolving at warp speed. Fast forward a couple of decades, and eager beavers might be able to buy their very own synthetic girlfriends, much to the dismay of certain groups of people, and that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my new video drops. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.